in the interest of those to gain suffrage, you must bind together to create this change. There is no separation in, in doing what needs to be done. You, all of these groups need to come together to ascertain the final goal that is present through conversation um, and being part of one another to understand the goals and the reality that it is that we need to get to. There is no loss when you are only gaining someone next to you to join in to such a grand cause. By everyone joining together and celebrating the lives that there are to be had from gaining the rights to women, not only in the vote, but in labor and even uh, of their from their homes and from other male uh, people in their lives. They must be able to perform individually on their own wishes and desires rather than forming to what it is that others require of them in order to achieve their goals. Only this could actually create lasting possible change and create a better future rather than leading on the menial subjectiveness to which they have been, been given up to this point. Um, through this, we need to be able to support others' causes, not just the one that we wish for ourselves, but for the betterment of society. The group is better than the singular in this sense. If you're willing to do something for yourself, you should be willing to do something for someone else. You, if you are given platform, you should most definitely use that platform to join with others to create something bigger than yourself. With each other, we are stronger. By ourselves, we may be weak. So with each cause that we find, you need to build up each other, not just yourself. Whether you're for labor, suffrage, or whatever it is that you decide to follow, you must realize that all things that are being fought for at this time are key to a lasting society in the future. Not only for oneself, but for the whole of the community. Without all of this, once again, we are subjected to the menial existences to which we have all been subjected to for the time being. There is no I. There should only be we to move forward together rather than the singular expression of which it is that you've been drawn to by your passions. We all need to move together to create something bigger. When it comes to the things that we are fighting for, we have to put them above all others. Failure cannot be some type of option. If it is truly something you need, something you want, you need to stick to it and work through any things that may be coming. Each of the factions that have gathered all have their own right and reason but to truly gain something that we can be proud of and something that is worth standing upon, 
we have to give it everything that we have. There is no failure, only another step to be taken, and each one must be taken one at a time. Even if this demands a sort of compromise, as long as the compromise is not grave for the whole and is something that can be worked for the, further from, then it can still be a reality. A compromise is not to be permanent. A compromise is not something to be left alone and given up on by one or all of the group. Once again, if there's a, if it is something worth fighting for, all people considered should be agreeing to fight continuously for what it is that is necessary to gain the rights to work, to suffrage, the, the freedom of all people in an individual capacity is the only solution to what it is that has been going on at this point. Only by communicating effectively, truthfully, and honestly between each other are we going to be able to do this. Man needs to acknowledge what it is that he has been withholding and let free what it is that women truly deserve at this time not only not because of a hatred but because it is what's right and what needs to be honored the world is changing and they need to change with it over time we will see new conditions we will see periodical change. We need to not change ourselves or change our goal in the end so that we may truly be successful in what it is that we aim to achieve. Continually working with each other and we can even look back to Europe and see the, the views that they are holding and how maybe they have broken free to gain a better insight to what it is we are, that is necessary from each of us. All, all things that are necess necessary to be considered should be. Nothing should be withheld and all, all men that are supporting these goals need to help to use what they have in their toolboxes of social interaction to achieve this. Otherwise, women will be wondering aimlessly without the social skills that have been created over time that they had not been privy to just due to the fact of them not having the rights that were so needed and so necessary for their involvement. There was an anarchist that believed that it would be a superpower that women could not bring a correction to what is going on in life. And there is only to be said that adding more people to the problem for an answer can only create a greater solution. That is the true ideology that I seem to follow. The cohesion of us all and taking time to properly understand each other and make a difference personally in each other's lives will create something better bigger and stronger, granting these women the freedom that they truly deserve in life for their liberty, 
happiness of themselves and others. Thank you.